Have a seat. Who's going to? Jack, come sit next to me. Yeah, Jack, come sit next to me. The best spot in the house. Check, check. Oh, no complaints about that. I think you're just fine. We and then we're all Mr. doing Andre a lot of dancing Green. around with uh, various wires and cords, but this is... So this let's do introductions. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm Who the Alderman heck are you, I sir? I am Alderman Lodge Jack Conley. Speak great right loud and proud on that microphone. I am a Alderman Lodge go. Jack Conley, a very proud Somerville native and someone who was way back when was around when we first got everything going down here at the Media Center. Wow. And we're going to go to that story okay. in just oh a goodness. moment. And who are you? I'm Andre Green. I'm the school committee member for Ward 4. And I've lived in Somerville now for 15, 16 years, something like that. That's like practically wow. you're from here at this point, yeah, right? Yeah, basically. What is the marker of length of time to live anywhere where you're like legit, I like you feel like you're part, of like like you mind those. Been I feel from like here. it's quality over quantity because Aww, you see, know. That's what I, I mean, obviously, because I've only been here for seven years, but I feel like I've made my mark. You know, I like feel embedded in this community, and I feel like a summer villain. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just trying to say. Summer villain or summer villain? Well, oh, yeah, that's I, a good I like question. The, term the villain debate that goes villain. with that. Without the I-A-N, yeah. Villain <laughs> works quite yeah. well. Yeah, that's it's more awesome. comic book-esque. Yeah, and then there are people who like to say they're old Somerville, but you know what? I, I think that's just a, a very small group of people. There are, there are a lot of people who now consider them part of Somerville, period, because we've been an evolving place. We're still doing yes. that. We're changing much for the better. So we're all, uh, we're all villains in one sense. All Absolutely. right, I like that. So, where, 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 what honor. were you all doing earlier before you just came here? What were you up to? Um, well, actually, uh, the earlier today I was working with the, uh, some, dist some district staff to put the final touches on some language to create a gender identity support policy for the district. Yeah! Mm -hmm. Woo woo! Good work, sir. Are we getting some gender neutral bathrooms in Somerville High? Yes. Fantastic. The, the details haven't been worked out yet because we're still Wonderful. not part of the plan, but there will definitely That's big be news. there will definitely be at least a um, non uh, some number of singleton bathrooms, and so obviously Wonderful. like your bathrooms at home. You know. Yeah, we, yeah. we. I mean, we went gender neutral last year. I think yeah, with all of our bathrooms we just and basically stuff like that. And it's amazing how unbelievably yeah. easy it was. It used to be a men's and a women's room, and well, now well, it's well. Well, basically, all we just kind of make decisions <laughs> sometimes, and we just we do just it. do it because all we had to do is change good the sign. Of the community and for inclusive inclusivity. That is just yeah. kind of how we roll here. We actually. Um, just just a quick shout out to our young people. We have a teenager here who does a radio show on uh, Mondays called I'm Trans and You Can Catch These Hands and you can you can tune into that All right. every Monday at 4 p.m. All right. No, actually, <laughs> I, I want to actually also, when we were working on this policy, we actually um, brought in um, a group of students from the Somerville High GSA to help us work it nice. through. And That's awesome. They've been incredibly helpful and the policy that we drafted up today, we'll be going back over to them before we bring it up in our rural subcommittee next month. So. Awesome. Fantastic. Awesome. And Fantastic. where were you today, sir? Well, I, I do what I do every day. I'm, um, uh, a lot of us have uh, regular day jobs, and I was in my office in Davis Square where I do you know, house and car insurance and that kind of thing. But because of the wonders of email and, uh, and smartphones <laughs> and all, I'm, <laughs> I'm always answering questions about city things that are happening, about are. problems with why isn't there a police officer on this road dig that's going on, traffic's backed up. You know, how come this is taking so long to get done? Those kind of questions. No yeah. rest for the, the villains. Yeah. But <laughs> it's, it, it's actually enjoyable because you can help solve a problem or, or get something taken care of. And uh, it's a real joy because, like I said, we're moving in the right direction. And a lot of that means some fixes and changes or new construction, just like that little green line that's going to find its way <laughs> into Union Square. <laughs> that little, oh, that green, little line. green line. How I will give you 50 million train. reasons <laughs> why that's going to happen uh, <laughs> here in Somerville because we made that commitment. Uh, yeah to make sure it does but it's um, a big decision this monday night up at the high school oh there'll yeah. be a big meeting to let everybody know about where we are what the progress is and what's happening the department of transportation and the glx people are going to be there to give us the details so if anybody's watching and you want to find out more about yeah. it Sunnyville high school auditorium uh six o'clock on monday night come one come all all right. right, cool. Yeah, uh, there's so many ways to be engaged, I think, in the city. There's sometimes a little, there's a lot. There's, like, overwhelmingly yeah, I think there's a, like a lot of information. there's, like, happening at that exact same time about, like, is it yeah. Union Square redevelopment is also happening? Right. Yeah. There's so I, well, Andre. So yeah. there, uh, there are also, there's also a meeting, and I'm sorry, I can't remember off the top of my head where it is, but the Somerville um, Special Education Parents Advisory Council is having their annual report meeting that night. Wow. Nice. Um, Ward 1 has two contestant races. They're doing a debate that night. Oh, right. It's yeah, yeah. yeah. That, Which we're filming. Oh, yeah. Covering, because we're all over. Somerville we're Media all over Center, about town. 
Well, what happens, and the one thing I can say, democracy demands participation. Absolutely. We give people plenty of opportunity to get involved, and I don't care what your interests are, whether it's school issues, library issues, uh, tea-related issues, yeah. or whatever it is you want to be involved with, there's an opportunity. What are, what are your biggest issues that you, that you are prioritizing as aldermen? Uh, right now, the biggest concern is to try and deal with the affordability issue yes. here not just in Somerville, but in the region. I yeah. wish it was just a one-town problem. It's a whole region-wide yeah. yeah. problem, so it becomes a little well, complex. Because it also trickles out, right? Because people well. who, who are getting displaced here are then going into a place like Medford and then a Malden place like you know and Malden and then Winchester. Everett. It just kind of <laughs> continues. You're right. It doesn't yeah. trickle down. It trickles Across out. Across. It's, it's yeah. the entire spanning. Region. Right. So we're, we're, we're working with other communities to see what we can do. Uh, I mean, everybody hears about you. Wouldn't it be great if Amazon came? Well, where are those 50,000 people going to work? No, they're gonna yeah. Live and how are they going to get there? So I'm, I'm, it's a I'm much gonna go right issue. on the record and say I'm I don't think it's a great idea. I'm glad Amazon that you brought that up, <laughs> sir. Yes. I don't need yeah. Somerville to become Amazonville. Well, <laughs> even, even if it's no. in Boston, even if it's right. over at Suffolk Downs or, or East somewhere Bo yeah, East anywhere like that. So did anyone see yesterday's news article about New Hampshire's pitch for Amazon? What's New Hampshire's pitch? New Hampshire's pitch for Amazon. Basically, you should come come to New Hampshire because we because Boston sucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, all right. Thanks, well, that's, that's thanks guys. Put one way. Well, <laughs> I mean, an, an, another big issue going on. I think you guys have probably experienced to some yeah. degree is the airplane noise that's going on it, here. You know, I've noticed a lot of increased traffic in the air. Jack. Yeah. Well, there's there's the traffic situation with the new traffic pattern here, but then there's the air. So well, we could spend a whole half that's hour on yeah, just no. traffic. There's, there's in on the though. ground, literally, <laughs> and if people don't know, Union Square has gone on Webster and on Prospect Street. It Both was ways. it was single one ways for ever, right? For numerous years. Almost now. a lifetime. And then they just adjusted it about a month and a half ago yeah, to be exactly. two ways. And I think Marianne Houston, Some who should be pains. coming in sometime <laughs> soon, is still welcoming feedback on that process, is my understanding. <laughs> uh, but, they, yeah, right, the uh, air traffic and the... Yeah, so... Air traffic is a huge issue, especially over West Somerville, because yeah. the land, uh, the, the runway that they use, 33L, they don't fan out like planes used to. Now they just go single file, one behind the huh. other. So There's if you happen to be right stream. over Somerville, Medford, Belmont, Arlington, yep. you hear at 5.15 a.m. till 12.15 a.m. It's all day. When the wind blows a certain way, it can be. Are there meetings for people to come to this there as well? There will be a big okay. meeting and public hearing here in Somerville. We've had a long time history dealing with this. We've joined other communities. We're still making literally our noise on the ground about what's going on in the air. Right. So there and will be one. It, sorry, do you both put out newsletters or I think I've been getting some so, newsletters. So, so <laughs> folks yeah. can sign Facebook up, stay and up yep. to date, and Twitter. engage. Okay. So you were sharing a story with me inside about you were the f one of the founding um, advocates behind the whole inception of this place. Can we talk about this sure. a little bit? Sure. What, uh, what happened way back when in the late 70s, then Warner Cable was the cable provider, and all of a sudden the Board of Aldermen and school community meetings were going live on television. Well, meetings that used to take an hour all of a sudden became to be an hour and a half, an hour 45, because people were on television. Right. But <laughs> back then, just <laughs> like now, there was um, a, a local cable TV office uh, that originally used to be housed up at, at City Hall, and the cable operation ran out of there. Well, I was one of the people along with then Somerville Journal editor Michael Sullivan who did the first local KV, cable TV uh, live broadcast of election results here in wow. Somerville. And we sat That's in the incredible. basement in City Hall getting <laughs> updates from precinct people oh and my goodness. Channel 7 at Without the time. Without even a smartphone. I know. No <laughs> smartphone, just, no just pen, paper, and, and people <laughs> putting stuff up on the wall. We're trying to analyze and Channel 7 oh walks in with a live camera crew with the lights and a reporter saying, we're here at the very first sum, uh, Summerville Cable Television, the live broadcast in the state of a local community covering their own election. Wow. So they're chatting. And, and oh the my How powerful to remember that, that moment, too. That's so right? well, It was so uh, it, disconcerting because the light's in your face, there's noise, <laughs> there's a lot of people crowding around. And we literally had about just as much space as we have here yeah, at the table yeah. with people giving you notes. And again, this is live, and we're trying to read, look, and I, I'd speak, and Michael would analyze and then we go back and forth but somehow we got through it it was a great <laughs> experience a lot of fun but the big thing is we're here and i know andre and all the members of the school committee and all of us on the board of aldermen support all your efforts here at the media center thank you to thank you. engage the community cover our events cover the sports provide for the various opportunities for people young people yep. there's a great chance for people to learn 
and I can see it here. We're going to encourage people to participate. They want to. It's easy to do. You can call Erica sure Jones is. here. So we're gonna <laughs> get, true. So we're going to get just, you just on, Just Mike. call me, and I'll <laughs> basically <laughs> navigate you through the whole process. Well, it, it's here. There's <laughs> information available, but it, it's part of our community because we can let so many people know about what's going on, not just live, but with the recorded events that are broadcast over yeah. and over again. Our people classes, the way that we empower people to, yeah. to you know, produce their And to do the radio show now as well yep. is just a huge benefit yep. for the community. So, so you got a lot of support. Is an integral part of how Somerville becomes a community. And you know, I think given all of the displacement issues and right. transients mm -hmm. and our mm -hmm. diversity and you know the 50 plus languages spoken in Somerville, I it's think it's really hard to overstate how important Somerville Media Center actually is to right. Somerville being more than just a place where people sleep. Right, 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 absolutely. Right. Yeah. yeah. So that means uh, so we can get some city officials on on record here oh saying yeah. that when uh Oh yeah, when Jack was already inside in the, in the redevelopment the plan where uh so, uh, so we're gonna media make sure center that some media center finds a very good and worthwhile home here in the city down the road. A lot of good things are happening here in Union Square with the green line coming. It means people have to make adjustments, but right. the, we're going to make sure the Summer Media right. Center is alive and well have a in home. Somerville. If it's not right here in Union Square, it'll be somewhere where it's going to be as productive, if not more so, and then just another location. Yeah. I'm right. I would, I would say right the, the, goal is, is the goal is not to be as healthy as you are. The he goal is to be healthier, right? Like mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, I, I heard um, our good friend Joe talking about how there's no audience space, and, uh, and you know, I, di I did a debate here two years ago, and it was like my wife, my opponent's um, mother, and like one random person <laughs> from the district. Um, and so like, and this is a, a, I think an overarching problem. Somerville lacks quality community spaces. Right. Yep. Um, yeah, um, absolutely. Spaces for people. Absolutely. Yeah. So I think, you know, we're talking about development, we're talking about community benefits. Community space has to be in that yep. conversation. And so absolutely. making sure that those community assets like Somerville Media, Media Center Spaces where you have the space they need to, to do the work that we need them to do yep. right. has to be part of any development plan, I think. And Heck investing yes. in our public libraries, investing right. in other public spaces right. like that where yep. people have access to, I mean, we're, we're non-commercial. We're not here to make money. We're here to provide a platform. Right. We're here to provide a safe and welcoming environment for folks to come in and share really important perspectives um, with with our community and with the world at large, too. Right. So. We appreciate hearing all of your support. And yeah, and getting it definitely you guys warms my heart. Yeah, it sure well, does. It, it only makes sense because you can get the message out to so many different people. Right. As Andre mentioned, a lot of times you have a small crew that night, but the next day, the next few days, that information will be heard again right. and again, and people and, pick up. And Jack, on that. right now we are on cable television. Yep. We are live streaming our on TV channel on our website. On Facebook. We are literally physically in Union Square. We are on Boston Free Radio, and we are on Facebook Live, my friend. Yeah. So we Five are hitting different up four places. spots. Five <laughs> spots. <laughs> Seventy. Who knows? Other people are sharing them. Right. We don't know. Right. It's true. Well, we know the technician is driving himself crazy <laughs> right now. And yeah, let's give a shout out to the shout all out. the Central Media yes. Center staff. Honestly, Adam Stone. Who, we all work together very, very smoothly here and help each other out. And Adam Stone specifically um, is a blessing. And yes. he, uh, f you know, while frantic sometimes, <laughs> he comes through. I, I, I can't imagine through. why. <laughs> well, I, I yeah, want to say, too, that uh, we got to give a nice shout out to uh, Mr. Joe Lynch, the uh, Mr. News Reporter here in Somerville. Woo Joe, the man, man, man about town, Joe he Joe Lynch. Man. He never thought he'd be this Joe pitchy. Joe Lynch. That's the way, here Joe. He comes. Joe Lynch. We love you, Joe Lynch. <laughs> no, it, uh, it it's been a joy. Joe has been uh, fair, honest, and and tough when there's some questions to be Wait, asked. Wait, are we talking about the same person? <laughs> Joe Lynch. Oh, yeah, yeah. Listen, uh, I've known I'm Joe a kidding. long time. He's that type of a guy, and we want to make sure no, he gets no. the proper shout-out. That great time whenever you see Joe, the first question is, what I do wrong this time? Somebody want to cut McCormick's mic? Oh, no. Oh, no. That was yeah. me saying that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was an E. Jones <laughs> That was an E. Jones Just there. Right there. Yeah, yeah. That's com that comes out of love. That well, comes Joe out Lynch of, will know, be hosting the mayoral debates on uh, Monday as well. This so is we true. Have, yeah. This is true, yes. We have so a lot of excitement. So There's a lot going things. on. There's a lot of excitement. Bernie Sanders is coming up. 
coming to uh, celebrate yeah, on Monday. Yeah, coming to once, to once, uh, to once is yeah. the name of the uh, place. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, on the Highland and Central. Yeah, on yeah. Highland and Central, and uh, yeah, that's Harry's part of a big fan of community media, and, and he had his own TV show on public in access in Burlington, Vermont. In Burlington, Vermont. And so it used to be brunch with Bernie. <laughs> brunch? Yes. With did you, did you <laughs> watch it? <laughs> brunch with Bernie. Yeah. The <laughs> archives are coming out during his campaigning, and they oh were my. phenomenal. So it was brunch with. Ver- <laughs> Bernie like tofu scramble or like was it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> kale smoothies with Bernie. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Burlington, Vermont was like organic before organic was cool. Yeah, you know, it's true. I'm not, they were I, organic. I'm not judging. Organic. I'm just, I just yeah, want to know. Like, like, if I ever have brunch with Bernie, what am, what am I gonna eat? Right. <laughs> he, you know, it's all Food's like you know, grass fed. <laughs> like he just, you know, harvested it himself. Bernie, if you're listening, we're curious. Yeah, what is your recipe know. of choice? Come you, by you and visit us. You can just invite us. That's fine. I, I'm just say, call me up. To, we'll, we'll do brunch on that on Monday. I'm, I'm okay with that. I yeah, would, we'll I would love to see Bernie down here. Wouldn't that be wild? I mean, he's, he's Jewish from Brooklyn, so probably some, like, bagels. Oh, some, you that, know, that, everything that, bagels, yeah, bagels, and bagels and lox and, and, and cucumber. So yeah, we'll get, it all, we'll get it all handled for you. Red right. onions. I got a Jewish grandmother. Let's make sure Mr. Lynch will throw a question or two that way. We'll remind you. We will get to pressing issues, including what did you serve during brunch <laughs> with Bernie? <laughs> we must know. <laughs> we are live here. <laughs> awesome. Well, any any other things that you want you know folks to know about what you have well, going on like, like, like professionally or personally? Vote. I mean, obviously to right, vote. There's, there's, an, there's an election. In <laughs> yes, November I've heard about that. You should vote in it. Um, I have a question. What keeps you all ticking in this political sphere? Like, what drives you to continue to do the work that you're doing? Well, I, I, I can speak from my experience. I've grown up here in Somerville when Somerville wasn't a place that was well thought of. In the 50s and 60s, uh, we were the slur of uh, the greater Boston yeah. communities. A lot of people refer to us uh, uh, as, as something. Uh, You're um, not going to say it. I'm not going <laughs> to say it. The S word. There's a brewery named after it. Yeah, there's a there's <laughs> the S word. But we were wise guys <laughs> and winos back then. and that. Uh, <laughs> And, uh, and really, that was the story. And there, there were places in the city I simply wouldn't go because we weren't wanted and I didn't want to be there. Thankfully, in the 70s, a lot of, like some of the United Neighborhoods, a lot of people started to get involved. S. Lester Ralph got elected, followed by Gene Brune, Mike Capuano, uh, and, and the present mayor. We progressively moved mm. forward in a community fashion because this, there's the benefit in people working together, as Andre said. When, when we get people unified and working together, there's not a lot we can't do. Yeah. And thankfully, here in summer, we're doing that now. There might be problems in, uh, in, in the nation, but we're mm. pretty well united here in our efforts. And I hope on uh, Tuesday, November 7th, people come out and endorse those of us who are trying to do the right thing and make the community better. I'm yeah. doing the best I can. I'm one of four Alderman at Large yeah. candidates uh, that are asking for people to consider us. We have, you have four choices for your vote. I uh, certainly hope that I can be one of them. I'm gonna, I think people, some people know I am. A lot of people know yeah, what I've done. Yeah, you're a very accessible human. Definitely. And I got a lot yet to be done, and certainly I'm looking forward to doing it. And it's great working uh, with people like yourselves, with Andre and his colleagues in the school committee. We're going to make a lot happen here. In, uh, in, in, and we're going to get to your answer. In an introspective way, what would say is like your proudest accomplishment so far? Ooh. Probably being part of the planning uh, and developing uh, and the construction of the red line in, in Davis Square initially because okay. we transformed that, then follow up with assembly in the the orange line, and now with the green line, I get the trifecta. Wow, wow. Yeah. wow. you are going to go down in the flame of success. Wait, what? I don't know. What? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't want to be going down. Yeah, I don't want to rephrase well, that. Well, I mean, like, you're going upward. Uh. But you like, you know, like well, you it's like a, a rainbow of yeah. success. It's a rainbow a of success because <laughs> of all the colors. Here we go. Yeah. In my head, though, it didn't seem negative. <laughs> We know. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah, rainbows. The right there we go. <laughs> that works. That's Thanks, awesome. Jack. Thank, Thank you, you that's, so that's, much. That's a good reflection. I appreciate that. Yeah. What about you? So, um, so Christine Barber, my state rep, um, represents um, Winter Hill, Tin Hills, yeah. uh, West Somerville, and parts of Medford. She has this thing she says where she's like, the thing about representing Somerville and Medford, and it's 100% true, is so people come and they're like, we have a problem. Mm-hmm. And that's true wherever you work in elected office. People come and you say, we have X problem. But the thing about Somerville is they say, we have a problem. And a solution. <laughs> and they were like, oh, and, and we organized all these 20 people to work on it, right? So, like, <laughs> Somervillians get organized about everything. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's, I find, actually find it hard not to be excited because whatever it is you want to work on, there are already people working on it. Right. 
And so what keeps very me Very active. Right. Very activated as well. What know? keeps me going is Some would say loud. Just so much <laughs> there's so much energy in Somerville, right? Like and people in Somerville care so much. Yeah. Um, it's true. It's true. It's absolutely true. I feel that. And so that, that's what that's where I get my energy from is just all the incredible people I get to meet who are, who care so much about so many things. I mean, I think what's really cool also is just like running into you multiple times in the last couple of weeks at Winter Hill Brewery <laughs> and you're in various meetings. Right. And, and then I also know the people who you're meeting with and then we engage in a conversation and that leads to like all these other things. And it's just like that's kind of the nature. It's, it's a you know, it's obviously four square miles. Very, very uh, densely populated, but you still run into people like a small town, which is means a lot to me being from a small town in upstate New York. I feel like it's very neighborly, you know. Sure. I, I also do like to remind ourselves that that is the challenge, right? It's that right. Uh, yeah. It's very <laughs> easy for us to, to mm -hmm. think that we, the people we're talking to all the time is Somerville, right? And right. So the other thing I keep going is my commitment to making sure that all the voices we're not hearing, mm -hmm. we do a better job of hearing. Mm -hmm. and. You know, I think we're, we're definitely making progress in that direction. We have a long way to go. Of course. I think. Same I with think us. Same with us. Right. You know, mm -hmm. we're doing more outreach and getting in other parts of the neighborhoods. Especially, Absolutely. I think, as you know, the euphemism we all use is these tough political times. When what we mean is when we're, when, when we're being governed by a racist bigot. Um, yeah, <laughs> that right. is a fact. When right. So, but in these tough political times where these vulnerable populations are literally under siege, mm -hmm. that work yeah. is so important. And yep. So, so you be so central to who we are and what we're doing, that making that progress and yeah, I think we're we're making it. It's I wish we were going fast, but we're making it. Yeah, is that's where my that's where my passion is, my energy is. And what about one of your your biggest proudest moments <sighs> as of today? So you know you, you get that question a lot when you're running for election for good reasons. Of course. And it's and it's I'm asking it again. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> cause it's it's not how I generally think. I'm like, oh, I did this thing. Great, let's do the next thing. Um, so. You know, we um, j very recently, Somerville School Committee passed a public comment period for the first time in, in at least 15 years, uh, which means we'll have an, a new venue for people to reach out to the school committee. I'm proud of my work on that. Oh, cool. Um, why, why did it stop, do you think? N yeah, we, no one knows. Like, we actually, that was one of the things we were trying to figure out, and no one, huh. no one had a memory of, of, us, of us ever having it, Interesting. Even, which was kind of an anomaly among school committees. Yeah. So I can't tell you why we didn't have it. Um, but I think, you know, anytime we can increase participation in the system, that's a good thing. Um, the Winter Hill School, we fin we're finally breaking up that great cement sea that surrounded it. Um, oh so wow. working with the, the mayor's that's office exciting. and yeah. the awesome. um, CPA. Congratulations. So, like, there's, a, there's a soccer field there. Like, get, they're getting a playground. Um, we're also going to be doing some, hopefully doing some actually really innovative work over to Healy, where we'll be um, basically chopping out part of the hill and putting in another field there, which will Ooh, literally wow. bring the community oh, yeah. together. Oh, um, I love that mystic, those stairs, that whole area. Exactly. I worked there for many, many years, and that was always such an important, like, yeah. such an important, like, it was that an was eyesore. A, it was that was a documentary that happened. was done here about I, the staircase. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Like, it's, it's like a metaphorical. I watched that. Yeah, watch that yeah. an awful yeah. lot and get all the calls when meaningful. the snow wasn't cleared and that I know, kind of thing. Right. Yeah. Yep. That was, and yeah. that was done by passionate activists and yep. tenant association right. and that's and how and collaboration between local government and local media i mean how things got yep. done and as so a result yep. so this is the next step in that process that's and making wow. it more that's awesome accessible. i remember we should do a having documentary meetings about, about that. that and i would love that well let's have let's, young people do a documentary about it, yeah. about it. Let's, let's have the young people that live there yeah yep. you know be involved in making that documentary well, erica i have one for you yeah it's been my dream before i get done we have to tell the somerville story there's a great story to be told here, and a wonderful documentary could be put together here. So I'm going to throw the challenge okay. out to you. Let's do it. Let's think about doing that because there's some terrific people in the community who could help with that. So awesome. I'll, I'll, I'll throw that, uh, that right. challenge out. All How's right. That? You we'll just love it. Hey, and on, on air, Jack Connolly challenging me to make it happen. A documentary I will. About I will else. come through. Will. That's true. All right. Well, good. Well, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll get together on that. Uh, we'll, we'll be talking about that in a couple weeks. I like weeks, that. Right? I like that. We have a lot of commitments now over coffee. Right. You, 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 you missed the opportunity here to challenge him to pay for it, right? <laughs> right. Oh, oh I'll hit you up, my friend. I will hit you up. I already have some ideas where to go to help with that. We always have ideas, right? I just need a little leverage. <laughs> we'll do a little execution <laughs> is the problem, but uh, I think it's something that, that could happen and could be quite a quite a powerful uh, story to be told. Yeah, I agree. Well, 
Yeah. Any, anything thank you else? Guys. Yeah, thank, thank you, you guys thank so you all much for, for coming on today, Absolute for pleasure. visiting and supporting Enjoy community media. Enjoy being here with Andre. He does yeah. great work in the school committee. <laughs> Keep it up. We're very <laughs> happy to be involved and in working with him. We're unified here in Sunderland. I, I, I have to say, and you know, I, I, you know we, we try to stay out of elections, but I, I always tell people the really great work that, that, that Somerville schools have been able to do over the last two decades would not be possible if if there wasn't such great collaboration between yeah. all, the, all the organs of Somerville government. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So get out there November 7th. Go vote. And vote. And if you vote. want a refresher on the candidate profiles, you can visit yeah, our website YouTube. and check out all of those videos and get informed and be engaged and vote, please. All well, right. Thank you, Jack much. Connolly thank and you Andre so Green. Much, guys. Thank, thank you. 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 Always a pleasure. Fine, sir. Always, like, a always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. I know. I'm, I know where to find you. <laughs>